I am in the greenhouse today, obviously. The other day we were going through our seed catalog that we have, our seed notebook. I found our cabbage and realized I never started our cabbage for the fall. I'm not gonna try to say the name. I will fail miserably. But that's the cabbage we're starting. And give some water to these guys. So that's what I'm doing right now. You guys have seen this before. We just keep all of this potting soil in these big tubs here and then we fill it above it. In fact, if I get a bigger pot here, then I can just dump it a lot at one time. Let's do that. And if it falls, it doesn't really matter because it's gonna fall right back in those black tubs. <laughs> it easy and nice. You don't have to be so careful the first time. It moves a lot faster. So I don't really want my solid trees all gunked up with soil in the bottom. So I'll fill them up over here first. That way I can keep that tree cleaner. Take off any extra, pull out any sticks, <laughs> sometimes get in there. Didn't really want those in my cabbage pots here. I tell ya, it's shaded in this greenhouse, so we put that shade cloth up there, which is good for the plants, but it is still plenty hot. Oh my goodness. All right, now, I'll just move those over to our solid tree here. These are the best trays and we will put a link in the description for you because they are so sturdy. You'll want some. All right, planting the cabbage. Cabbage is planted, or the seeds are planted. Got the water in down there. It's already soaking up. I'll come back and check it later to make sure that I added enough water to the tray from, for it to soak in good. In our last video, we showed you those volunteer holy basil plants that were growing over where we were cleaning up the area for the chickens. And I said I was gonna dehydrate them for tea. So I thought I'd just take advantage of the warm greenhouse. And I cleaned these off and I just have them laying out in here and they are drying really well. So then I'll come in and I'll take the leaves off and package it up to use for tea over the winter. So when we're watering our plants in the greenhouse, we prefer to water from the bottom for a couple reasons. One, it gets the water right to the roots. It kind of soaks up from the bottom. It's good for the plant, but it also keeps it from getting that kind of scummy, mildewy, moldy crust that it can get on top of the potting soil. So I'll just remove one of the pots and fill up this tray that they're in. They're in a solid tray. And then of course the bottom of the pots all have the little drainage holes, which allows the water to soak up in there. And then that right here 
you can see it. There you go. You can kind of tell. See the water down in here in the tray? That'll just allow that to soak up and water all of the plants from the bottom. So I'm going to do that to all of these trays. <laughs> And I'm going to water my feet if I'm not careful. <laughs> Look how pretty that Swiss chart is. I love all those bright colors. greenhouse work done. I have one more fall garden project to do today. I had talked about how great our tomatillos are doing and this side is still looks fantastic. You guys should check this out. That one's huge. Look at that thing. They're doing really good. But this one over here, I have no idea what happened but all of a sudden it's really sad. So I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm going to pull them out and just plant some more peas. Check out the beans. They're doing good. attention. Yes. Meow. I'm going to grab my pruners really quick. All right. Just cut these out of here. I'm not sure what happened to this one all of a sudden. It was doing really good, just like the other plant, but for whatever reason, I guess it decided its time is up. It's okay. We'll just plant more peas. And like usual, none of this will go to waste. Chickens are gonna enjoy a little treat. They always like it when I clean up something out of the garden. <laughs> All right, fast and easy cleanup. I gotta quit using that word easy every time I am filming and I say something is easy, then I have trouble with it. <laughs> Hey, kitty. Toss it in here. They already know. Look at them. They're coming running. Every time I open this up, they come running because they know they're about to get a little treat. Look at all of them. Oh my goodness. Happy chickens. There's that tiniest bit of mess left here to clean up. And I'll put some peas in the ground just to finish out this trellis. None of these tomatillos on this plant ever fully ripened so I don't know what happened there but oh well that's okay because we have plenty on the other one all right 
got that tomatillo or those tomatillos out of the ground. Just not sure what happened with those. They just never did well on the side for some reason. Not like these guys. They look fantastic. But like I said, no big deal. It frees up the space right here to plant a few more peas. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. That'll just finish out this trellis with peas. We'll eat them. <laughs> All right, got those in the ground. Got everything taken care of in the greenhouse today. I think all that's left is a little water. And uh, I'm gonna go get that, water these in, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.